Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and you guessed it, we're playing Watcher of Realms. Specifically, we are jumpstarting a new video series of mine called Weekly Reset, so let's get started. So, welcome to my new video series, as I said, called Weekly Reset. This uh, series is going to happen uh, every week, uh, either on Tuesday or Wednesday, because that's when usually we get new information for every week for the next uh, weekend's banner and new stuff added to the game. So let's jump right into it, because we have some amazing cool stuff to go through. First of all, uh, if you go into the Raids tab, you can already see that we have some additions over here. So you can see that Immortal Codex now actually has its own section in the raids tab which is kind of cool right it's pretty 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 cool they've also introduced in the gear raid section gear raid 4 right so this is pretty awesome i'm gonna talk about gear raid 4 um with you guys after i present other stuff that there is but also as you can see gear raid 1 2 and 3 have different banners different images a little bit more smooth and fleshed out right so it's a pretty cool addition because it kind of needed it, um, we kind of needed it. Like resource rate, exactly the same, promotion rate, exactly the same, different banners, it looks pretty cool, you can take a look uh, at it yourselves. Um, let's see, artifact material aid, it doesn't have anything different. Besides that, I don't know if you noticed, but we also have, if we go into the notice tab, in the event notice then go actually to the game news and go to new heroes info what do we have here finally a way to check out valeron on the global server server as well with uh, esme uh, george and prodor and trusk the trusk fusion still going on so don't uh, don't forget about that do your dailies do your oracle trials and events so you can get go grants so you can summon dragons so you can summon go uh, crowder but pretty cool if you go and click on go you can actually check Valderon out which is cool as heck man like this guy is a freaking trooper look at him he's amazing so uh, pretty cool stuff pretty cool upcoming stuff pretty cool teasers so let's talk about the main event which would be give rate 4 right so in a recent video from the official watcher of realm channel we've gotten um We've gotten a new Watcher Academy video in which we got a few sneak peeks into how Gear Raid 4 will look like. So I'm gonna, I already have a video talking about that, but uh, I'll go quickly into everything that's going to happen so you guys can have an idea and then uh, help you out with some recommendations in terms of what's going to be useful and what heroes are going to be good in this upcoming Gear Raid so first of all i'm going to put out on the screen three gear raid 4 layout examples uh it's going to be mainly the same but just so you get an idea volka on the top left you're going to have to defend one single crystal but from two sing two different areas monsters are actually going to be uh life stealing and healing themselves so we will require a lot of anti-healing right um also the monsters are going to have some debuffs or buffs for themselves which are going to make them immune for physical damage depending on stage um, be invisible sometimes some will be actually even um, immune to magic damage and some other pretty powerful buffs that, that uh, they will have and depending on what type of um, of stage in the gear rate 4 we are i think that the layout or lineups are going to change pretty frequently but uh, it remains to be seen i'll make a video a uh, guide video of gear rate 4 as well also some other uh, new heroes that i know are going to be pretty useful crowdor is going to be pretty nice boreas is going to be pretty nice elwin is going to be pretty nice um Lassir is going to be pretty cool because has a nice um, a lot of anti-healing dami and so on and so forth other than that let's talk about rewards so rewards the rewards are going to be the best rewards that we've ever gotten so far unidentified gear uh, sanguine fabric and smoldering scale and dungeon crystals so in case you don't know you can take unidentified gear which is actually gear even better than uh, than uh, mythic and ancient gear and um, place it in a gear identify as you can see in the pictures on the screen right now 
and identify it click on identify and you'll get a pretty insane piece of gear with a randomized bonus effect besides that alongside gear 8 4 there's also going to be a gear forge where um, we're going to be able to use the sanguine fabrics and smoldering scales sanguine fabric creating left side gear smoldering scales creating right side gear so what are these left side gear and right side gear so let's take a look at that so the left side gear using sanguine fabric is going to be uh, two new sets called wicked vengeance and light's grace so wicked vengeance is going to provide us when fully equipped with a wicked vengeance like have two out of two sets it's going to give us plus 40 percent free damage and plus 10 percent attack which is really 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 cool right because up until the late game we don't really care that much for crit damage we mainly want attack attack is uh, is very good for everyone and we want mostly to be crit cap right but you get to a point where you pretty easily can get over 100 percent crit rate so from that point on and from the point where your attack actually doesn't matter anymore because you have enough uh, you don't want to pass a certain threshold you'll want more crit damage so this piece is going to be amazing amazing the next one lights grace healing effect plus 30 percent rage regen plus 10 percent this seems to be like a healer support uh, type of set but i don't think this is going to beat invigoration it remains to be seen it remains to be seen so smaller in scale gear that's going to be the right side gear that has actually four new sets which is uh, insane because we've gotten a lot of new content in my opinion so the first set the morale when on the field or allies deal 40 percent bonus damage does not stack so this implies that you can equip one single hero with one morale piece set and uh, that's going to provide our entire team with 40 percent bonus damage so you cannot stack it that means that it's enough to have just one good the next one has lament when the, ult the, when the ultimate is triggered, increases damage by 30% and crit damage by 40%, lasting for 8 seconds. So this is quite cool because uh, you don't just get a, an overall bonus of 30% increase in damage, but you also get 40% crit damage increase on top of it all. So I can already see an arrogance with this being insanely good, but it remains to be tested because we don't know if Soulbound Arcana is actually going to be beaten just yet. So, Unshaken Will. When deployed, HP plus 20% when attacked. Recovers 5% of max HP, triggers up to one time every 5 seconds. So, this seems to be a pretty good tanking set. And you might actually also want to use it maybe on uh, HP scaling heroes, even HP scaling, uh, scaling healers like Vortex for example. Um, so next one, Tempered Will, damage reduction plus 15% for each enemy block, increases defense by 5% stacking up to 4 times. So we already are getting a lot of defense scaling heroes, right? So this seems to be quite a good, uh, a good combination between, uh, between defense bonus and def damage reduction overall. We already have a set providing us with damage reduction, but this also provides us further defense increase. So. Um, especially heroes with um, with a different scaling that's going to be quite quite nice so don't forget you can actually forge these ones in the gear forge using sanguine fabric for the left side gear and smoldering scale from the right side gear um, and these resources are obtained through completing gear 8 4 so another reward that we're gonna get as you can see on the screen right now is going to be um, dungeon crystals so Dungeon crystals are basically a resource that you're going to keep piling up as you complete more and more gear 4 stages um, and you'll be able to, to use those crystals in the dungeon shop which is quite cool because you can get a random ancient by spending uh, 2000 dungeon crystals you can get an unidentified gear piece which is even better you can get ancient amulets ancient rings uh, from different sets old sets like uh, soul bound arcana maybe or um, the infernal roll set so that's quite cool because regardless of our luck during year 8 4 we'll be able to actually buy some stuff from the shop as well so there's that so uh, 
after all this information in the Watchers Academy, we've also gotten some hero recommendations. So they recommend Comet because he's an AoE and this is going to be a basically an AoE heavy fight. Um, they recommend uh, Vierna, they recommend Demi, Demi most probably for her anti-healing, uh, Lassir as well most probably for his anti-healing, and they recommend Elowin because she is an overall good AoE healer and um, debuffer, uh, dispeller actually. Um, and uh, she also provides a lot of rage regen which I think it would be very useful. But it depends, it really depends on the, on the, on the team overall. So, uh, some additions that I would uh, actually put on there for highly recommended heroes would be Valkyra, because not many fighters deal magical damage, and for those stages that include a physical damage re um, immunity to monsters, Valkyra, which does magical damage per auto attack, especially during her ultimate, that's going to be quite good because she will pass through that immunity. Another hero that I would recommend would be Boreas, right? Even though he was nerfed, this is going to be quite a good hero to play in Gear 8 4. Why? Because he has crowd control, even though it's not that long as it used to be, he still freezes people sometimes. Besides that, very very important, he has anti-healing, which actually got buffed from 3 second duration to a 4 second duration. So that's quite good as well. Again, some fighters that would prove quite valuable, for example, during the magical damage immunity would be Arrogance maybe. Um, or Valyria. Valyria would do quite well, especially at the end of her ult, where she just crushes the ground with her sword and then blows up in an explosion of physical damage, which is quite amazing. This is why she's so good in arena, right, as well. Um, besides that, what else? I think Reeve is going to be quite good in, in as a defender in uh, Gear 8 4 because he's going to slow people. He, in case you haven't watched my latest video in, in which I talked about Reeve, he has a passive called Pack with the Drowned, which inflicts slow on seven enemies in range. And if you skill up, if you skill him up, it goes up to ten, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, I think uh, these would be some good recommendations. Uh, definitely, Crowdor would also be quite nice, um, he has a lot of damage mitigation, Broke here would be again nice, especially with a Bastion Ring, so he can actually get a lot of uh, block um, and provide a lot of block. Also, if you have Broke here A1 like I do, during his ultimate he's also going to freeze, so that's another cool trick to use in Gibraltar 4. I need to test out um, Artemis, I think he's also going to be quite good, but... Uh, as far as my recommendations go, so far this is going to be it. So, uh, now that uh, Gear 8 4 is out of the way, we can see that Gear Dungeon is going to start tomorrow, but besides, we're also going to have an event in which we'll be able to get a new chat bubble, like the previous one was the red one during the Valentine's Day event with Lust and Arrogance. Now we'll have a blue one with a little Reeve hat pirate hat on top of it uh, not particular to my liking i still like the edgy red one but probably i'll go for it just for the sake of uh, getting it another interesting thing the anchor of the damned so this is reeve exclusive it's quite good i've managed to deal with with reeve in gear 8 1 uh, 20 without power of dominance 100 million damage using his exclusive over here so this is going to be quite nice especially if you have reef or you want to go for reef and you know you're gonna get him because he's a uh, guaranteed uh, 250 so yeah this is going to be nice but what about this banner over here right because look at it it looks quite good it looks quite amazing what's what's up with this so we have hex zilitu and razak so should you summon for this or for the reef one i think it really really depends on where you are with your account and uh, especially also what you like because I'm a big 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 supporter in, uh, in terms of playing and going for what looks cool for what makes you feel good even though it's not the best it's not the most uh, wanted or whatever you should go for what looks good Hex and Zilli too very very good heroes uh, very very helpful even though Hex is more helpful than Zilli 2 overall, Zilli 2 is going to ex particularly excel in guild boss. 
uh, Hex as well, but Hex has a little bit more versatility. He also can be uh, quite helpful as a marksman in other content. So if you are early game or mid to late game and you have Razak but you don't have Reeve, I would ask you and advise you to go for Reeve. If you like something more and you just go want to go by looks and what feels good, go for whatever feels good, man. Whatever makes you rock your boat, whatever makes you feel good about your account. But if you want to go for progression only, most probably Zilli 2 and Hex are going to help you more if you are late game. The last thing I want to talk about is um, actually the ancient summoning this weekend. So should we summon this weekend? I don't think so. I don't think we should summon yet unless this is going to be also a Valderon guarantee. In the future, uh, I would go for either Valron or Iovar. I am still trying to make up my mind. So try to wait until the Iovar or Valron 10x and we'll see where we go from there. So this is basically it. This is the weekly reset. This is what we have this weekend. Uh, this is what we have this week. I hope this is going to help you decide. I hope uh, information, the information about gear 4 is going to prove helpful and you can scale up some heroes and move some gear around so you can properly prepare for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to leave a comment. I read and respond to every single comment that I see. Uh, let me know what you think about my new audio quality. Actually, my new microphone finally arrived and I'm very, very grateful that you can actually hear me properly now. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.